The goal of Project Bazia is to bring together Sudanese refugees from around the world and unite them in the belief that, regardless of where they live, they are all one people. Brian Knobloch spoke to the program's founder, Bazia, about his organization's mission. Bazia, tell me about your project. Uh, project Bazia is about how to put uh, the kids of South Sudan together, unite them uh, over a diaspora. Diaspora is like everywhere in, in different continent world. You can say Canada, Australia, South Sudan, uh, Europe, anywhere in South Sudan. And how many are there throughout the world? Uh, in America, I have, by in the United States, there's only like 100,000 South Sudanese in America. And I believe in Canada, we have 675. And in Australia, we got close to 800,000 of South Sudanese in Australia. And what are the goals of your project? Uh, the goal is very important. It's about the education and about let them learn how to be a good citizen in the United States and in other countries in the world, even in South Sudan or in America. The best way to do it to unite people, you gotta have a goal. <laughs> We're going to be here today because we're going to have one of the tribes of South Sudan going to be have a dance, and then I'll, I'll put it to be a kids better than the big people. That's keeping the legacy of the child of South Sudan uh, is still a uh, tradition in Africa. Well, let's talk about the dancers for a bit. Uh, what kind of what does the, the dance that they're going to be doing represent? Uh, it represents one tribe. Uh, if I put it in a big name, it's supposed to be a lua. A Lua, under that tribe, we have a Sholi, we have a Nuer, we have a Nuag, and we have a Sholi. All this is one tribe, but it's kind of different door on the same tribe. And it means something to them. And that's one of the, the long story back in the day in the United States when they bring the, the slave people from Africa, was, a lot of them was from Lua tribe. So it's just like, it means something to them. And does this a troop tour the United States, or do you have plans for them to tour? Uh, yeah, we have, uh, we're thinking about Dallas, Texas, we're thinking about uh, uh, Jacksonville because I have a trip for 2014 uh, for the kids of South Sudan. I'm going to sponsor some kids to take them to Disney World. And it's kind of any child born in any country in the world, he love to be in Disney World. And what kind of support do you provide for, uh, for the South Sudanese uh, diaspora that's here in Maine? In Maine, I'll talk about, uh, I can just make example for myself. Uh, to be in the United States was one of my dreams. And I can say I'm American child dream. Uh, I talk about all the stuff about the system, how to, to make them to be a good citizen. And when I say good citizen, it's about the book. That means respect the law and understand the law in the good way because you, you save your life in the better way. Because and the key for all that is about education. The more we educate them education, and the more we take the education, put it in with a simple life, we'll see the result better. Does the society need? education and then use the education in the, in the life. You will see the difference. What kind of challenges do the South Sudanese have here in the United States? Uh, one of the challenges is because uh, since we have a lot of uh, different tribes, sometimes it's hard to unite them. But what I believe, what I'm doing, I'm thinking about the child. When you, when you say a child, because the, the grow people of the, the, the father of the mom of the cousin, they already grow, I can say they have a brain set up. But for the kids, I believe they're easy to accept the union and unite it in a good way. Do the children, I know that, that they want to preserve their own culture and their own heritage, but at the same time, they want to integrate into the United States society as well. How do they manage that balance? Oh, okay, good. One of the things I'm, I'm working on it is like teach them to be a good citizen. And teach them, when you say American dream, it's not to just follow different direction. It's about respect, it's about education, and be a dependent. The only key for that is how to teach them. And the child is almost, if you have a direction, or pick the right model in the front of them, they will look at an example. Because there's nobody born know everything. But if I born before them, and I've been through a life, and I just look at it, if I'm educated, I need to go back to teach my own people. That's simple matter to start, look at the volume of the education I have and then transfer that to the kids. 
If people want more information about your project or want to help you with it, where can they go for more information? Uh, you can go through my website. I got uh, projectbazir.com. That's one of, you can see what I do. If you want to be a part of it, you can look at the website and you will feel free if you want to be a part of it to be, become a friend or you want to donate for the Project Bazir, you'll be willing to go online and you see all the information you need to know.